It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video, by request, uh, is on Josie Lloyd. Uh, you may not know her by that name. But you might know her by um, some of the names she portrayed on the Andy Griffith Show because she played more than one character. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you those names right away, so you're going to have to hold off. Well, you can look behind me and see who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about myself. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Last month, uh, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Norman Lloyd passed away at the age of 106. He was the oldest living television star. Now, you might encounter Lloyd while watching Alfred Hitchcock. A New Jersey native appeared in several episodes of the Alfred Hitchcock Presents and directed even more episodes of Presents and the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Decades later, uh, Lloyd portrayed Dr. Daniel Oshlander on St. Elsewhere in his early 70s at the time. He was a mentor to the cast members like Helen Hunt and Mark Harmon. Uh, Lloyd's obituaries understandably focused on his age as well-known roles. There was one piece of information that went overlooked in the news stories. The Washington Rep uh, Post reported his daughter, Susanna Bard, who had acted under the name of Josie Lloyd, died in 2020. Now, we knew Bard as Josie Lloyd, as that is how she was billed on The Andy Griffith Show. Younger Lloyd appeared four times on the beloved sitcom as two different characters. Her two characters both had some major inconsistencies. She first turned up in Mayberry as Mayor Pike's daughter, Juanita Pike, in Mayberry Goes Hollywood. Wearing glasses, the bookish young woman sings Flow Gently, Sweet Afton. A few weeks later, Miss Pike appeared again in the beauty contest, only this time her name was Josephine. The lovely Jay Pike uh, <laughs> was never seen again, mostly because Dick Elliott, who played Mayor Pike, died in 61. But Lloyd would return as a date for both Andy and Goober. Season three, the actress was cast as Lydia Crosswaith, a friend of Thelma Lou. Barney sets her up with Andy in Barney Men's A Broken Heart. Lydia would return two years later for Goober in The Art of Love, only this time she was dating Goober Pyle. In another case of broken continuity, Lydia does not seem to be friends with Thelma Lou. The important thing though, is that Lloyd is charming in her handful of Mayberry appearances, she serves up silly lines like, I hate the outdoors. When I go out into the sun, I get the herpes. Elsewhere, Lloyd unsurprisingly guest starred on the Alfred Hitchcock Hour, thanks to her dad's connections. After a couple more TV gigs, she disappeared from acting in 1967. Information about her life is hard to come by after that point, aside from her marriage to the Baird family of puppeteers. Um, she passed away in 2020, as was reported. But at least she still lives on in Mayberry. There you go. As I said, it was requested. And I do my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia today. Head on over there. It's on uh, Milburn Stone, who played Doc Adams on Gunsmoke, and how in his real life he was a doctor. And classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Check it out. For a great, great, great southern rock band, the Marshall Tucker Band. And reliving their legend over there. And if you go over and check them out, and I know you will because I can depend on you, uh, and if you have not yet, please subscribe. Um, and before you leave here, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please like, hit the like button. I appreciate it. And if you have not yet subscribed here, please do. That's all I have for you. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.